Hello, what is up? I don't know why I defaulted to a mic that does not exist. It is a quirk of OBS. Uh, just a quick check-in. It hasn't been too long since the last video, but I accomplished some pretty hype stuff. We donated everything. We got at least one of everything. Uh, it went pretty quickly, pretty smoothly. I got the final upgrades. And now, all that I'm waiting for is, uh, getting this, uh, last few statues of prosperity. I think we're getting pretty close, though. Yeah, we just need three more, which is sweet. Um, but that's not really why I'm making a video right now. I wanted to explore a new patch. Uh, when I loaded up the game today, uh, I have been told there is an update. And I already can see <coughs> at least one thing that's been added. Now all of the generic artifacts, that is things that don't do anything once you dig them up, um, which, you know, I appreciated just on the level of flavor and stuff, and I thought the idea was it just gave you a bit of cash. Uh, but in fact, you can now convert these into museum tokens, which is exciting. Uh, and then the museum tokens I saw can be used to buy all of this cool stuff. Uh, so I don't know if this is the only update. Um, we'll, we'll explore around a little bit more, uh, but we'll start by cashing in these generic artifacts and then buying, uh, all the new stuff that we can get from that. So, uh, we can lock items to not donate them. I don't know, it's like, I kind of want to keep one of everything, because they're cool. Uh... But it's kind of like, I think you can just lock specific types, and then it's like all or nothing on the other ones. Whereas I just want to keep one of each thing. I don't know, maybe I'll just throw them all in there. And then when I go for the living item decks, which who knows when that'll ever happen. I'll just have the fun of doing a whole lot of archaeology again. Which, uh, I'm not being sarcastic when I say that. I, I genuinely do really enjoy doing the archaeology grinds. I just think it's, like, a very fun activity. Just something about, like, making the charts and upgrading them. And then my, my rates and stuff are insane now because I have all these upgrades. So it'll go so quickly the next time. I think that'll be exciting, too. So screw it. Let's give them it all. We'll get so many museum tokens. And, uh... Yeah, I don't need the money. I would much rather have these tokens. Because not only do we get some unique stuff, um, like from buying this, we clear up a lot of bank space in the meantime, sure. Uh, we also get some useful things like the Summoner's Shard Pack. Uh, I actually think is one of the more effective ways to buy uh, summoning shards, which will be very useful in the future. So, it's a good thing to be able to have access to. Alright, so let's buy a travel token. Let's buy a dig site token. Let's buy an enhanced spyglass lens. Let's buy at least one archaeologist consumable, which is a very generic title, <laughs> uh, name for this item, but whatever. Let's get ourselves a summoner's blessing. This is just for the item log. Some enchanted topaz bolts and sapphire bolts. We already have enchanted uh, diamond bolts. Let's get one each of these. Okay, so they're not items. I thought they might be like chests, but instead they just give you the, the shards directly, but that's fine. <coughs> oh, goodness. Uh, okay, I think that's that then. So that'll be a few more items. Yep, we're up over 50. And those appear near the bottom, but it's telling that we have... I'm just trying to sneak past here so I don't see what other stuff is. We got the museum tokens, the rewards for the museum tokens, but everything else past that, I assume, is also new with this patch. Which is kind of crazy. That's a lot of new stuff. Uh, there's no new slots in the museum, so... Ooh, we can upgrade these even further. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to get more. These are where the shards come in. Okay, well, that's cool. We'll, we'll worry about that later. Um, we can make our upgraded thing now. 
Neat. Uh, so yeah, like, we know some stuff hasn't changed. I don't think this map... Oh, I should have... I could have been... Yeah, I should have been parked my butt over here. The map isn't bigger. We've still completed this grind, which is nice. Don't immediately have to jump back to that. And the museum isn't any bigger either. Uh, so I'm not really sure where all these additional items have come from. Are there new combat areas? No. Oh, we can fight these guys now. Let's let's fight these in this video too, because otherwise this video is going to be really short. And we can even try this final dungeon. Although, I think this is probably where we're going to have to uh, really try to spec into anti-barrier technology. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, okay. So I don't think it's additional combat stuff. So I don't see a... Oh, is this... No, no. Oh, wh why did I think that was new? Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Should we just look at the change log? Yeah, let's just look at the change log. <laughs> yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> I wasn't even there yet. Uh, okay, so new stuff in some chests. New things from some drops. Cool. Combines all the above new gems into a single gem. Sweet. Alright, well, that'll take a while to get. More things from chests. Cool. This is pretty sweet. Okay. Uh, these are things we already got. This is something we already got. This is pretty cool. Uh, this is gonna take a while. But sure. Got these things. These things. Yup, 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 yup. And then, oh, okay. Well, whatever. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. So this is like debuffing some stuff that was probably really annoying that I didn't even really get to yet. <laughs> sure. Uh... Okay. Uh, let's uh, do some additional combat. Why not? Why not? We can maybe finish all of combat right now, which would be crazy. Well, not finish, per se. Just do it all once <laughs> and see what that gets us. And then, as I said before, I think I'll finish off all the new skilling stuff before I, I switch gears. Man, we still gotta... This, this can't be right. This can't be right. Huh? My base game is 100% complete. <clears throat> oh, it's because I've... Oh my gosh. There we go. That makes more sense. <laughs> I was like, why are these so low? Why are these, like, insanely low? Yeah, because there's a lot of work to do, but not that much work. There's just, you know... Some guys here to lap... Oh, these are all such tasty fish. Oh, baby. Okay, let's fight. No more digging. Not right now. We'll find this thing later. Let's fight. Uh, da, 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 da. This guy is still as specced as we can get. I don't think we've gotten anything better. We'll just do a quick search for barrier to make sure. Oh, I think this is an upgrade. Because this guy, the sapping barrier gem... 10%... And 20 flat. This is 15% and uh, 25 flat. All right. Uh, this I don't think is worth. This is downgrade. This is downgrade because uh, it removes our set bonus. And even this, I think, is still downgrade. Okay, let's do our best. And fight some friggin' mermen and what have you. 
We got... Mm, okay, we're fine. I was like, should I put per sec item on? By the way, I always say per sec. <laughs> it's like a very old, stupid Pokemon meme. <laughs> so just don't worry about that. I'm not... I know, I know that it's protect. <laughs> but, you know, there's a very infamous move in Pokemon called protect, which essentially just stops you from being damaged on the next turn and is used in all sorts of goofy strategies. Well, not goofy strategies, sometimes very strong strategies. Uh, so people would call it Persec sometimes. It, it's all from this one infamous typo. Okay, we got one. I guess the Ancient Rooms because it looks like a trident. But this guy doesn't have a trident. We got some Barrier Dust, which is now guaranteed to us. Beautiful. The Devouring Barrier Gem is probably going to be... A uh, very, very nice upgrade for all this content. A necessary upgrade? I don't know. We're going to find out. Let's fight a mermaid archer. No. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Da. Okay, now I feel safe. What do these things do? Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Uh... I feel like, again, just because this is sort of like mid-game combat content that they're adding, a lot of the stuff I don't really have to worry about that much. Like, I could have specced even harder into barrier stuff, and I didn't have to. Um, but it's, A, just interesting for new players and people working their way through this content. And then, B, if they add new, like, mega-hard content, like uh, stuff that, you know is going to be harder than anything in uh, Throne, then it's kind of going to be interesting to see how, like, all this stuff now becomes necessary. Like, what if there's unholy prayers that suddenly become, like, meta, and then I have to, like, navigate how to make them work with our setup and stuff. Uh, that's all very exciting. Did I already kill one of these? Yeah, I did, didn't I? Yeah, well, whatever. We're, we'll take you out again. Uh, there's an item I was curious about. <clears throat> it, like, removed... Yeah, all player special attacks are disabled. Minus 20% attack interval, plus 50% maximum hit. 75% accurate rate, and minus 10 damage reduction. This seems really, really strong with this setup, because all of my summons are kind of crappy, Beside, and the only, like, strong special attack I have is Agile Wings. So, I feel like this is probably what I should be doing, but I don't know. At the same time, then I would have to either lose my setup, which would make Barrier DPS way worse, or I would have to lose the Signet Ring, which would make loot grinding way worse. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's not worth, it's just, it's a very interesting item. Um, <clears throat> I think it's probably the best for... Holy. Sheesh. Uh, so... What I'm realizing now... I think what I should do for combat... And this is probably going to be necessary, because, like, how am I going to AFK this, this guy? He just kills me sometimes. Uh is the upgraded god equipment. Let's check that out. <clears throat> so all this stuff can be upgraded now. We need a lot of shit for it. Barrier Exalted Shard. Isn't that what I get for finishing the last dungeon? So what <laughs> what the what does do if hmm anyways, this will give me better damage reduction than these guys. These are plus six damage reduction. This is gonna be plus eight. So that's a big difference. And it can be upgraded again past that. Okay, so we can still kind of just like get lucky and kill these things, but I'm not going to be able to AFK them until we make that investment. Let's fight a treacherous jellyfish. This thing might actually wreck me. Because I'm on the bad side of combat triangle. Oh, it's weaker! Oh, okay. Well, with the sleep thing... 
the sleep thing is annoying, because if I'm asleep, I'm going to take more damage, and suddenly these things might be lethal. But whatever. Uh, ooh, this this is rough, though. The, the DPS is, like, kind of failing us. Because... This is, like, pretty low. The chance to hit... I I think the math still works out that I should expect to kill the barrier, though. Because it's only 25% regen. <clears throat> which is, like, 1,100-ish. 1,150. And so that's once every seven turns. And in that time, I get way more than seven attacks. Or not way more. Even if I'm hitting half the time, I don't know. I gotta get l uh, not lucky. I gotta just not get unlucky, I think. Like this, just like some consistent hits, please. Yeah, like we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. This is doable. I feel like the dungeon boss is not going to be doable, though. But we'll find out. We'll find out. I, I think we can make it to the dungeon boss, at least. We've got Diamond Luck on. Uh, is there anything else we can do? I guess I can switch up the prayers. Like, is this really, really likely to happen? <clears throat> I don't know. I could switch up the item off of Signet Ring. Oh, well, here we go. This just should... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, get the debuffs. Get the Agile Wings. Get the Agile Wings again. It's gonna regen, like, now. Or now. Okay, never mind. You're just dead. Sweet. Um, cool drops. I don't know if they're any good. <laughs> it may even be that we need these drops for the dungeon because they're so, like, barrier tacked. Okay, well, let's fight the uh, final dungeon. And then this will... Uh, not, you know, as I said, not finish combat by any stretch, but, uh, it'll, we'll see what we get from it. Like, I think there's a task to beat the final dungeon boss, and there's always good stuff you get from finishing the final dungeon once that might help with other grinds. Um, so, I think this is just, like, worth knocking out once, and then we can finish off monsters, too. We can have a, a true hundo. Uh, we have hundo skill, I guess, but, you know, we'll have our second hundo, which is nice. Uh, that is if we can beat the dungeon. I, I wouldn't be upset if we can't, because traditionally, when I've, like, beat the game before, I always save the final dungeon content for the last thing I do, which is kind of fun. Uh, so that might be the case here, too. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Either way, we're going to finish it off with combat. It just depends on whether it's, like, a one-and-done thing. But I think this thing drops a chest. This dungeon drops a chest. Yeah, the treacherous chest. So, no matter what, we're going to have to grind this thing out more than once. We're going to have to set ourselves up to AFK it. Ah, this is so fun. <laughs> I, I love this game so much. I've been spending a lot of time talking about RuneScape lately. Because, first, I went to a party where a very good friend of mine, uh, who plays RuneScape, was going to max. The party wasn't around the maxing, it wasn't because of maxing, but <clears throat> it was a party activity that we all watched him maxed, and then he shotgunned a beer, and we made a great video. Um, so that was very exciting, that really got me thinking about RuneScape a lot. We were checking out his account and stuff. And then another friend of mine, another very good friend of mine for a long time, who also plays RuneScape, who had maxed a while ago, you know, he's a gamer, uh, was visiting last week. Uh, he spent, like, three days at my place, and we hung out, we talked about RuneScape, he showed me some good RuneScape video series. I think I was talking in the last one about how I'm watching Limpert, uh, One Chunk Iron Man, which is a blast, and now I found out about the One Chunk Ultimate Iron Man, which is, in some ways, even more psychotic. But that guy, you know, they don't even choose this chunk randomly. They choose the chunk manually, so... In some ways, very less psychotic, too. And it's just like, damn, what a beautiful game. Like, what what awesome, awesome adventures people have in this game. And, and how wonderful it is to have this, like, outlet for those deep human needs of 
setting goals and achieving them and making plans to achieve them and, and finding incremental goals along the way and, and all that stuff that I praise Melver Idol for. Like, I still got to give it up to the OG of RuneScape. And I think it's wonderful that <clears throat> this is a game that, like, Melver Idol is a way for me to have a taste of that feeling and to still kind of let my mind operate in that way uh, in a way that's, like, much more suited to my lifestyle and suited to the, the free time that I have. Uh, I just really got to give it up. Like, the more I, I appreciate RuneScape, the more I come to appreciate Melvor as well. And the more I, I start to believe in, like, the vision of Melvor. Because RuneScape is, like, 20 years old. Maybe more than that. Yeah, it's, like, around 20 years old, if not a little bit older. Uh, that's crazy. And, and it makes sense that it has the insane amount of content that it does. Uh, and Melvor, you know, is only five years old. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's like, you know, the dream is alive. There's like so much stuff that can still to be to come. There's there's so much expansion that can be put into every aspect of the game. I think it's been designed in such a great way to allow for like so many things to be added and just sort of the gameplay loop, I think, is, is so conducive to just making numbers get bigger and, and putting so much stuff like beyond the end game of the end game of the end game. Uh, I don't know. I'm having a blast. I'm so glad that I invested the effort into playing this and have always found enough time to stay fairly current with it uh, such that I can enjoy all sorts of exciting stuff as it comes out. Uh, shout outs to the devs. Shout outs to Malx. I hope you're still watching these. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still playing. <laughs> I'm going to keep playing as long as there's stuff. And even when there's not stuff, I'll probably just keep doing farm runs. <laughs> Got to get up to like 10 billy or something. All right. This is going well. Um, we, I think we've gotten like average lucky, like with the barrier hits and stuff. Um, that was a nice one. But uh, we're making some juicy progress here. I, I'm, I'm becoming more and more confident that we'll just be able to fight the boss and kill the boss. And if not, we've got per sec item. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? If we die, I think I'm just going to move on. Even if it was, like, close, I don't think I'm going to be, like, grinding this out to try to get that one kill. I would rather start doing skilling grinds and get all the stuff to upgrade the god equipment and then do this right. Uh, so, yeah, my, my to-do list... Well, let's, let's see how the dungeon goes, and then we'll return to the to-do list. But basically, we're like pretty much done with archaeology. Archaeology will be done imminently. So I think it's time to figure out what my next skilling grinds will be. And I think it's going to be... Uh, prioritizing... Like, we can do another like get item session. Kind of want to do that right now, but I should also do some work today. Um, yeah, I think instead, I'll just, like, AFK out the last few archaeology things, and then I can start AFKing, like, a lot of the mats for, uh, the enhanced god equipment, I think is maybe the next play, because that's very AFKable, and then there'll be, like, a non-AFKing session of just collecting all of the new items and doing a bunch of upgrades and stuff and just trying to max out our item count as we've done in the get item videos before. Uh, and then when that's all taken care of, I think that'll be when we're ready for the return to combat, take up our sword again. Jeez, this thing is not dying. <laughs> I mean, it was tough enough to kill just one. We're gonna have to kill two in a row right now. Is there anything I can do? I don't really want to take off Protect Item, because, yeah, when I'm asleep, these things can kill me. Uh, is this better than this? I think so, because reducing the, am the enemy's damage reduction, I think, is pretty important. Um, geez, though, this is, this is rough. <laughs> Get some good hits, please. That was a, uh, excuse me, that was an okay one. That was, like, borderline. Come on now. Big hits. That's a good one. That's an okay one, I should say. Ah, this is... I kind of want to just call it, 
now that I've talked about like the skill and grinds I want to do, I'm actually like really excited for them. <laughs> and I feel like since we can barely out DPS this thing, we'd have to get really lucky with the boss. All right, screw it. We'll leave the the boss. We'll leave one final monster to fight, uh, and we'll leave that for like the end of content. Okay, next time, skill and grinds. I'm I'm heading back to the dig. See ya.